So when we were growing up, our parents reminded us about the importance of going to school. In their generation, a degree was so rare that if you had one, it opened the doors to many of the highest paying jobs. I was shocked when the International Labor Organization reported that people who had a bachelor's degree did not have significantly higher income than those without one in both the developing and the developed countries. It didn't matter. Um, they explained, so the International Labor Organization explained that digital platforms are redefining the relationship between education and access to work, right? Because you, you don't need an education to have access to these platforms. You don't need to have a degree. That's not a requirement. You don't need to show your degree in most online platforms. So instead, your ratings and your reputation are most important for accessing the well-paid tasks. So that's a huge, huge shift from the, the world that, say, our parents lived in. And what happens when we have the same bachelor's degree that everyone else has? What happens? You know, we used to say knowledge is power. But in reality, the world's information is right at our fingertips. So knowledge has lost its power. And these days, it's your skills that pay the bills. You see, degrees don't tell us how well a person will perform a specific task. Uh, instead, comments and ratings from your portfolio are a far better predictor of how well you'll be able to do that same task in the future. You know, companies and universities have also noticed this trend. Um, many companies don't even require a degree. They, they're hiring people without degrees, but they know that they have the skills. Um, and now many universities also offer micro credentials so not a degree, but it's like a smaller credential that you can put onto um, platforms such as LinkedIn or Upwork or Fiverr uh, in order to allow clients and peers to highlight and recommend specific skills. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. I know a lot of today so far has been doom and gloom. Uh, many freelance workers with a master's or a doctorate degree, um, they earned 70% more than those without a university degree in developed countries. So it is making a difference at the high end. So if you have a, a PhD or if you have a master's, um, that seems to be making still a difference in terms of how much you get paid. We are in the age of education inflation, says Brian Kaplan, the author of the book, The Case Against Education. Uh, for our parents, a bachelor's degree was that was that ticket. It was the ticket to high paying job. And today it's a master's. So what's next for our kids? PhD? Brian argued that the primary function of education was not to enhance a student's skill, but to certify their intelligence, their perseverance, and their conformity. He argued that 80% of an individual's return on their education uh, was the result of something he called signaling um, to potential employers. So you had the degree, or you had the advanced degree, it signals to employer that you are the ideal candidate, you should be above the rest, you're going to be more 
like more intelligent, you're going to be have greater perseverance, and you're going to be better at following instructions, so more conformity. But what happens when data and AI, this is AI parenting after all, um, is used to rather than human, like our, our human instinct for, let's say, the typical HR process? So in this case, well, worker performance actually can be regularly assessed. We, it's very, fairly easy to do that. And in fact, many platforms already do. So the International Labor Organization found that most online platforms use ratings to determine who gets access to future work. So they use your ratings. Um, and so how much, like how many of these platforms? Well, if you're talking about freelance platforms or freelance online work platforms, that's 82%. So way up there. 72% uh, for taxi services, and I think 60, 67% for delivery services. We are in this era right now of regular monitoring, uh, especially for the freelance platforms. 47% reported that they have to report the number of hours worked. 47%. 46% said they had to take screenshots of their work. So whatever you're doing, you have to take screenshots of it to prove that the work's done. And 43% attended performance meetings on a regular basis. So these are not like once or twice a year. These are like, oh, no, you want to get paid? Like, we got to have a meeting. So getting pay, and speaking of getting paid <laughs> getting paid as a freelancer it basically means working until all of the needs of the client are satisfied and the difficult reality is that 86% of workers in micro task platforms such as fiverr had their initial work, like the first version of their work, rejected. And when it comes to disputes for this work, um, most companies often defer to the mantra that the customer is always right. So the that leads to the talking a little bit about the terms of service for these companies. So the terms of service for most online work platforms are mostly take it or leave it contracts that are decided, they're decided by the online platform. Um, that is like as a worker, you, you don't really have any say in terms of what that contract says. Uh, they are specifically designed to avoid the possibility of the worker becoming an employee. Um, and this prevents workers from receiving uh, statutory, they call it statutory entitlements. Uh, which basically means that uh, they get access to minimum wage and social security or pension. Uh, currently, there is a push um, internationally and in the European Union to classify online work as something known as decent work, so that the st if it, it like if it gets classified as this decent work category in the law then all of the statutory protections that apply um, would apply to all workers. So it doesn't matter if you're an online worker or if you are a, yeah, if, if you're any type of worker, you, like an online worker or just a regular employee, you would still get those same statutory protections. And there's other things that I didn't mention, like um, there's safety and health uh, protections that are provided. It depends on, on the jurisdiction, depends on the region.